All right, so I ordered some of the breakthrough. Finally found some in stock. And um, this stuff is not that cheap. I was going to use the CLR, but I was seeing mixed reviews on the CLR about it can um, pit certain parts inside the suppressor. So I didn't really want to use that stuff. So this stuff right here is four suppressors. And this is 32 ounces. 32 ounces costed me $40, like $41. So it's ammonia free. It removes carbon, lead, and copper. So the other kit that $60 comes with a, it's like a container where you put your suppressor in and it can soak and then it come with some brushes. But I feel like I could use the brushes, the gun cleaning brushes for the barrel. So I just wanted more solution and that only came with like 16 ounces. I think a gallon of this is like $80 or something like that. So I wanted more solution than um, brushes and containers. So I went to Dollar Tree and I was gonna get a mason jar, but I got these containers right here. So these fit, I could close it up and let it sit overnight. Uh, this is the Bad Larry. This is probably the longest one I got. So I'm gonna take this off, which this one don't need to be clean. It's pretty much brand new, but see how much it fits in there. So I will fill up this whole thing and then I can put a top on there. And then if I want to pour the solution out, then I'll be able to pour it out like that. So I only paid $1.25 for those at Dollar Tree. Um, the R2, I'm gonna have to take the brake off. Can you see how close that is? It will fit, but the brake is up there. So I'm gonna take that off real quick. And I just got a couple different bottles to try out. I mean, you can use a cup, but I wanted something with a lid just in case as it's sitting overnight, it don't, um, you know, tip over or something, fall over. But yeah, I can pour the solution out like that. So I'm not sure, I don't see, um, I don't think you mix this with water or anything. And I don't know if it's reusable once you, uh... yeah, it says do not submerge suppressors with aftermarket finishes. So these don't have an aftermarket finish. I guess you go to their website for product usage. So it's safe on bore steel, 100% petroleum free. That's all it say. So let's get, the first one I wanna do is the R9. Here's the, what is this in here? This one fit in there perfect. With the brake, that's the T2. So we gonna definitely do the T2. T2, R9. And I'm trying to think which of probably the, the K, the resonator K, because we had those the longest. The R45 and the R2, we can wait on those. Those are still kind of new. Oh yeah, with the brake. I'm not gonna worry about cleaning the brake right now. Which one is this one? This is the Resonator K. It don't look that bad in there compared to some of the other ones. But I'm gonna just do three at a time. Since these fit, I'm gonna definitely buy one for each suppressor. My thing is, I want to know, because the CLR is definitely cheaper. Like, yeah, that one is, that's dirty. But yeah, you can see in there. Let's see. Look at all that on the sides. So this one definitely needed. Yeah, I just, the CLR will be cheaper. Probably get like a gallon of that for like $10 or something. I just, I don't know, I don't want to take the chance yet. Brakes do come out of this thing also. So I probably could just um, do one, one of these for brakes. Yeah, 
I probably have to do that while I was on there. Which one is this? I'm gonna write on the on the uh, bottle which one it is, so I know. So I'm about to look this up right quick and see. I know you, I seen one video, they didn't mix with water. But I just wanna know if it's uh, reusable. Left to that light. So yeah, there's the spray bottle can. And then there's the kit I was talking about. So that's what I was gonna get, but I wanted more fluid solution so that's why I want the other one this one is on sale but by the time you add shipping it's gonna probably be 50 something because I was seeing some on eBay and then shipping be like 10 15 dollars so it was making it back to being like a little bit over 60 so that's why I went with the one on Amazon for the 32 ounces and got it for like 40 and it was able to be shipped out the same day so here's the gallon it's 105 on the website 60 for that kit 42 for the 32 ounce then the 16 ounce is uh 30 bucks all right so the, here's the instructions on it on the website soak suppressor and cleaner for an hour after soaking shoot several rounds supersonic is recommended then it says for suppressors with heavy build up 8 to 24 hours that r9 definitely gonna need 8 to what's in a 8 to 24 My main question is, is it reusable? So I guess that's just up to the person depending on how dirty it is. Cause if this solution is a one-time use, that's very expensive. That's why I see why people go with the CLR. Okay, R9, I wanna do R9 first. You know what I could have did? I could have plugged the bottom of it so it could just sit in there and the inside. I might try that. Let me try something real quick. So I'm gonna try one of these and just plug up this part. So far, it looks like that's working. I'm gonna do that on this one too. Yeah, it's working pretty good with that. What I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> I'm gonna take this one back out and try to plug him back in, plug him up so it can, the solution can stay inside so I don't wanna fill up that whole bottle. Look, we already have way. And most of the books say about a thousand to twenty five hundred rounds. Anyway, this R9 is the only one that probably got close to it. I 
Sorry, I'm gonna pull this one out. And try to plug that one up. And they also sell these at Dollar Tree also. So you can get these, plug it up. can already see some of it got like a ginger ale beer look to it yeah it's still a lot in, inside the baffles damn that was a lot inside of there I'm gonna plug that in like that probably soak these in there but I might just wait but I was gonna soak those in there and then the fat cat fit in there too I wanted to show that fat cat fit in there and that's probably one of the fattest suppressors so um, I'm not gonna pour that back in let's see is it up to the top okay it's up to the top And then what I'll do is soak these later. Once I pull those out, I soak these. So I, whatever the residue left over, I do that. So we gonna um, I'm gonna let these all go till tomorrow, 24 hours, and uh, we'll come back and look at them. But yeah, this is what I've been waiting on to break through. Suppressor cleaner. I was going to compare it to the CLR, but I, like I said, I have seen mixed reviews. Some people say they use it. Some people said it was causing pitting on the baffles and stuff like that. I didn't want to take the chance. Because on the website of Yankee Hill, it didn't really say what to clean it with. So, we just use something that's really for suppressors. Ha, 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 ha.